Oh, gosh almighty. I ain't real sure what this is. I think it's Kevin. Is it Kevin? No, that's a. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all tuning in. So this video is going to start off with a turkey hunt or the highlights of a turkey hunt because I got caught up in the moment trying to get on the turkey and make sure this guy was on the turkey. I took my South African buddy, aka Juicy, on his first ever turkey hunt. And I was trying to coach him into looking at the turkey, finding the turkey, shooting the turkey, and all that stuff. And I forgot to move the big camera on the turkey and film the everything. So this is the GoPro footage, basically of the highlights of the hunt. Basically just the gobbling in a picture. And then after we get done with that turkey hunt, we go fishing and rip some lips. And if you watch all the way to the end of this video, I catch a mystery fish that is the biggest, craziest fish of my life i'm just gonna it's, I, I didn't know what i had hooked but anyway but it's the biggest one of those species of fish that i've ever hooked you got to stay tuned to the end to find out what i actually caught hope y'all enjoy out here outdoors baby All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Look, I've been doing a little turkey hunting this morning, and uh, we're going to take a break from that and go try to catch some of these crappie. In case y'all wonder where I'm at, and everybody has asked, I keep telling them I'm at the rock pile <clears throat> at Coontown called Tillman's. They say, is there really a rock pile there? Yes, sir, there is a rock pile here. That's why we call it the rock pile. This rock pile stays here. It doesn't go anywhere. When the core comes in here and needs some rock and gravel, whatever, they put it where they need it. Anyway, the water is at a weird level right now. So it's not as high as I'd like it to fish some of the normal stuff that I fish. But it's not as too low to fish some of this other stuff out here. So we're just, we're just going to try it out. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we're going to try to catch some crappie. And then we only going to hang out here to about 11, 12. And then we're going to go back turkey hunting and try to catch that midday gobble. I got two solid weeks off. I don't have to be back at work till May the 2nd. So y'all stay tuned. Whip some stuff and go down. I ain't real sure what's going to happen, but we're going to fish and hunt every single day for the next 14 solid days. Y'all stay tuned just to see what happens. We may not always know what we're doing, but we out here. Out here outdoors, baby. Y'all stay tuned. Here we go, some fishing. All right, real quick update. So we went down there to the doggone rock pile, Tillman's Pond, the Sardis. Caught one short fish, one little old bitty like nine inch fish. So plans have changed. We are back at the Yakona. That's the Yakona Bridge right there, the Yakna. Yakna Bridge. We finna go wading 
And uh, see if we can't get back on them crappie that I was catching last episode. Y'all watch me catch crappie off in this little creek, creek uh, off the side of the Yachtin River. Y'all just stay tuned. We still trying to rip them lips, okay? So hang tight. We're going to catch some crappie. All right, well, caught two crappie. I caught, I don't know, we're going to count the doggone uh, stripers when I run this video. So I'm gonna have to put this part of the video in the front so that we'll know that we're gonna count all the strappers that I caught. Every time I catch one, I'm put a number on the screen. One, two, three, what, so on and so forth. Anyway, so we appreciate y'all joining me on another adventure out here outdoors. You know what I'm saying? Cause we may not know what we are doing clearly, but we out here, baby, out here outdoors. Y'all stay tuned, got some fishing action. All right, we back here at my root ball like a dummy got one on the string right there i wasn't real sure because i'd hit i hit a couple other spots on the way down here so i wasn't real sure it wasn't looking real good and i brought my gosh my look at that i was going to show y'all I was finna show y'all my setup, and he bit. Yeah, we gonna mess around. Anyways, I bought my gun and my turkey vest. Coincidentally, right over that hill right there, there's a doggone turkey gobbler. Hold that motor. I don't know what's happening. But let's check him. Oh, yes, sir. He about 12 and a quarter. So the best thing, the, the, the best way to find fish in these creeks and, and rivers is to find, obviously, some structure that, that has current and you look for a smooth spot that don't have any current around all the current. And that's where the fish are going to be because they don't want to fight the current constantly. So like in these little pockets and holes and stuff. Yep. Dog on striped bass. That's one. That's hard, dude. That day we caught all them crappie out of there. We caught several striped bass that day, too. See, the thing about these rivers is, the creeks, whatever you want to call it, is these striped bass, they spawn same time frame as crappie do. So, you'll catch about 50 50 of them. Let me try. I'm going to try the method I was doing on that video. On that other video, I was lobbing this over there to the bank and letting it drag off in here. And that triggered a lot of fish. See if it'll work again. Yep, there he is. Oh, he come off. There. Of course, I know what those are. Those are striped bass, hundred percent. See if I can catch one of them. Yep, got him. There he is. Oh. <clears throat> Mmm, come on now. I told you. 100% striped bass. You, you can, you can, I mean, you catch him enough. Oh, he's about to come off. Yep. You can tell. And like I said, that's why they was in the current. That thing was drifting down through there. Catch a striped bass. Every once in a while, you mess around and catch a crap doing that. Another one. See? Just one right after another. Where in the world did you go? Down the river. Come on, man. We're not trying to recreate the river runs to it. Come on. Look at there. Like I say, you can catch, you, can, you can probably stand right here and catch 30 of these bad boys. Just one right after another after another. And I'm going to until I start catching crappie. There he is. They back, Jack. <laughs> nope. Come on, y'all. That's the thing about these stripers. A lot of times you can leave the hole alone, 
for 10 minutes or so and another whole group will come in there and you can catch catch that many more nothing out there huh I got him at that. Oh, God bless America. Big old strapper. Dang it, boy. Them things fight. Oh, we they fight. Another strapper. Oh, that was a little one. But I had him, though. That's some joker spike. Look at it. Them jokers. No, they fight. Man. <laughs> Another striper. So, uh, most people call them white bass, but I call them stripers. I don't know how many it is. That's like five or six in a row right here. Boom, 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 boom. I hate when they get hooked in the top like it. It's real hard. I think that's number four out of this little hole. How many can we catch before I had to go home? <laughs> Look at that. He's like, oh crap. <clears throat> Mess around back with the whole pole with your big butt. <laughs> How crazy is it? These things just school up and I mean you can just catch them, catch them, catch them. Open your open your mouth. Oh, there's Robert one. All right, we're gonna load up the stringer, I guess. I don't know that we got some kind of something wrong with the lip. I don't know. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start on the next one. <laughs> Robert, I never. I just got excuse after excuse why I can't why I can't keep them. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll start. We'll start right now. How about that? That one was little and had something wrong with his lip. Had some kind of fungus going on. Robert didn't want that one. We're gonna catch another one. I thought started talking about keeping them. I knew it. Gosh almighty. I ain't real sure what this is. Whew. Oh buddy, I don't know what I got. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be a big big uh, catfish. Got to be. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a whale. Mmm. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm saying big catfish. Big catfish, wow. Holy moly. Wow. Oh my goodness. I think that's probably 10 pounds. Oh, I'm glad I was recording that. Oh, wow. Big catfish, big catfish. 
good grief. I think it's Kevin. Is it? Nope, that's a big freaking drum. One of the biggest drums I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at the size of that freaking drum. I thought it was a catfish. Holy moly. I, I've never seen one that big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that thing. Gosh. Holy moly. I mean, look at it compared to my foot. Good grief. <laughs> Good grief. I'm talking. Well, there he went. I couldn't even pick him up. I don't know how much that dude weighed. Oh, man. What a way to end the episode. <laughs> oh, man, because I got to go. I was going to try to hold that thing up and try to get a picture with it, but it didn't happen.